so this is going to be a really cool stream right now. I'm going to uh, invite a friend and extremely talented guitar player, singer, songwriter. Um, his name is Sadler Vaden from the from Jason Isbell's band, and then his own original music as well. Yeah. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm in Tennessee. I, I get the I get the gag. I live in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, dude. How you doing, man? Everyone, well, dude, I'm I'm doing good under the circumstances. I hope you're doing all right. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Too. You okay? I'm too. Well, real quick, this is uh, I already introduced you, but some people are chiming in, chiming out. Sadler Vaden, uh, awesome musician, lives in Nashville, plays with uh, Jason Isbell. Uh, as well as your your own songwriter, singer. You got to check out Sadler Vaden's music. You have a new album, right? I have a new album that came out um, a little over a week ago. It's called Anybody Out There. Yeah, this is it right here, man. There it is. Oh, yeah. We've got, I actually have, you know, liner notes and lyrics right here for all you kids who, who've never seen that before. <laughs> um, those are called liner notes. <laughs> um, and uh, And then I think there's still some left, but you can get some clear red what? vinyl here so nice very tasty very well, tasty I can't, I can't say your name enough sadler vaden you guys you do have a guitar uh you feel like playing yeah I do. in the mood to play a tune <clears throat> yeah man i'll play something upbeat i feel like we need an upbeat tune right now i love this it is, man. this is I called uh yeah this is called golden child all right Sad, sadler vaden Since I was born I never had to open a door A silver spoon resting on my tongue and So do you practice guitar much or, or are you more of a get creative and write kind of vibe? Yeah, I practice a, a good bit. I like to practice a lot and then I like to go a little bit of time without touching the guitar. And yeah. That 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 seems to work for me. It feels fresher when you take a little break and pick it up. And yeah, a little, a little. You're more inspired. I you think. Try to learn a solo or something when I was younger, and I started playing guitar, and and I would get really frustrated, and because I couldn't get yeah. it. Yeah. And he and he would always be like, put it down and come back to it. Every time I put it down for a while, and I came back to it. Man, I picked that thing up and I would nail whatever I was trying to get. Um, Dude, that's awesome. It's like a good way to just gives your brain a break. I think if you practice too much, might not experience some life around you that I feel like can come into your music and your and your playing. Also on the uh, taking a break, I try and everything you said works for me. I try and if I'm working on something really hard to teach, I'll work on it for a bit and then I'll put the guitar down or I'll have two or two or three other things that I'm working on learning at the same time. So I don't get burned out on any one thing. And I do find when I come back to that hard piece and don't expect myself to, ma you know, don't have the expectation. Okay. Right. This time I'm going to master. It's just like, all right, I'm just going to chip away at it a little bit again. Okay. That was good. Now I'm going to go do something else. Come back again and give myself the time and, and just be patient that it's going to come out. So what was the, what was your like childhood, like idol that got you like grabbing a guitar? Or one mm. of them, or a band, or like, you know, when you started playing guitar, you know, there's got to be something that, like a song or an artist that, like, got you, like, getting excited about it. Neil Young and the Crazy Horse was the concert that my dad took me to that I started playing guitar afterwards. So I immediately looked up to, to yeah. him. I mean, when I was picking up the guitar, it was 1996. Aerosmith had just kind of come back. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think all the guitar magazines I have, like the Joe Perry Black Gibson Les Paul Signature Les Paul, was like every so. Yeah. I mean, Joe Perry was a person I looked up For to, sure. but I mean Pete Townsend has always been been there. Um, so it was it was the classic rock guys. It wasn't really anyone yeah. current. And then you know, guitar magazines, the guitar 
um, culture took a turn when Creed got Limp Bizkit and Creed, and then all the guitar magazines were those guys, yeah. Mark Tremonti, yeah. and and look, if you're into that, nothing wrong with that. But um, so I didn't really have any current until Jack White came yeah. along, and and uh, I got really into that that stuff, you know. Have um, you be, being in Nashville? Have you interacted with Jack White in in circles at all or anything? Never seen the guy. <laughs> Never seen him. <laughs> I got something funny for you. This is uh Okay. This is this is Sweet Home Alabama in minor chords, okay. all right? Yeah, ready? let's do it. I'm ready. There you go. Yeah. But no, just once again, uh, everyone, Sadler Vaden. Check out SadlerVaden.com. Jason Isbell. Oh, I did a lesson on 24 Frames uh, uh, about 10 days ago. Really great song. Um, yeah, man. And uh, yeah, people people dug it. And I dig what you do, what Jason does. Give everyone my best. Thanks for having me on. Y'all check out yeah. the record. It's it's on all the streaming services. Dude, please take care, man. Sad, <laughs> yeah, man. Sadler Vaden, you guys. Sadler Vaden. Thanks, we'll Marty. See you soon, bro. Thanks, dude. Great to see you again. All right. <laughs>